Hi everyone, this is Mindy Egan and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever started making a card and partway through it you just were not happy with it and threw it in the garbage? Well, I'm calling this the card that almost never was and the reason for that is because I started it, I wasn't happy with it, but instead of throwing it in the garbage, I pushed through and I'm really happy with my end result. I am using the Daisies and Leaves stencil from Simon Says Stamp. This is a very delicate stencil. So in order to hold it in place on my cardstock, I'm going to spray the back of it with Pixie Spray, which is a low tack adhesive spray. So I sprayed that over my garbage. I let it sit for a minute so it got nice and tacky. And then I brought it over to my white cardstock. This is 80 pound Nina Solar White cardstock. And I have this on my Simon Says Stamp glass surface. I've been enjoying working on this lately because for one, it's glass. I don't have a reflection when I'm filming and it's magnetic. So I'm super happy with this. I started out by ink blending marine ink with a blending brush and so far so good. I was really happy with my blue daisies. Now I'm coming in with a lime licious ink. So it's a really kind of yellowish green and I think that was part of my problem. I started by trying to really sectionalize or put into sections the just the leaves, adding the green to just those leaves using a mini blending brush. Now, the reason I chose the blue flowers and the green leaves is because I knew that if these two colors overlap, I wouldn't create brown. I wouldn't get a muddy color. So I was really comfortable with my color choices. Now, that Lime Licious was just a little bit too yellowishy. Sorry, I'm really bad with my words lately. So I came in with a darker color and this I believe is a fair way. So it's more of a grassy green to me. And I added that once again over all of those areas. So I took the stencil off. I wasn't really feeling this. This just, I was struggling with the design and just how this was all looking. I think it was just too much white space in the top. So I just went over the flowers one more time with my blue ink, my marine ink and blending brush to help soften those lines. And don't get me wrong, the daisies stencil is gorgeous. I don't know if I was just in a creative rut or I just wasn't seeing it, wasn't feeling it, but I'm sticking with it. I trimmed the panel down just to see what this would look like without all of that white space. And I decided to go with it. So for a sentiment, I'm bringing in this mom's spring flowers stamp set. I trimmed my panel down even smaller and I'm stamping the word happy birthday right across the center. I line that up with the grid lines on my misty door and I'm stamping it in VersaFine black ink. Now this is an ink that stays wet for a little while. So I had to make sure that that was dry before I do anything else to it. And I'm adding a piece of double-sided foam adhesive to the back of that panel to pop it up for dimension. And then I can add it to my white card front that I have here. So I was really happy I stuck with this because I really, really love this. I love how the color is really the focus. So since this card is really quite simple to put together and just a very clean and simple design, I came in with some embellishments and these are the pearl embellishments from Honeybee Stamps. They already have adhesive on the back. So I added a few towards the bottom left corner and the top right corner to finish off my card. So there we have it, my finished card project. I really love how much white border I have around my design. The color choices, I'm just, I'm really happy I stuck with it. So if you're struggling in any type of card design, I highly recommend just sticking with it. Maybe trim the panel down like I did, just something simple like that to help push through kind of that rough stage you might be going through with your card design. I will have all of my supplies listed down below in the video description and over on my blog as well. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you again soon.